Kara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to figure out what boards to make for Pinterest for handmade e-commerce sellers. So you could be selling on Amazon Handmade, you could be selling on your own website, you could be selling on Etsy. Um, but we need to know what kind of boards you would be able to make to put your pins for your products on. So I recommend... I like to have at least five different boards that I could put any kind of my items on. So the first board is going to be super easy. You should have a board that is the name of your shop and you can always pin it to that one. Um, Pinterest likes you to pin your item to the most relevant board first. So this is kind of a little advanced, so don't get confused here. If I'm a handmade seller, and I sell necklaces, um, bracelets, jewelry. I sell a few um, like uh, uh, fancy shoes. I sell things like that. I wouldn't want to make that first pin to my store because it's too different. I would want to make that, if I was selling this, I would want to make this first heart pin or this first heart necklace to my heart necklaces board. Pinterest board. Okay, hopefully that's a little understandable, but something to think about as we're doing our um, board research. And today I have a little friend here helping me. This is Max. He had to sit with me because if he wasn't going to sit with me, he was going to bark. So we have a friend with us today. Okay, so we're going to use this heart necklace as an example of our first handmade piece and we need to figure out what Pinterest boards to make. So I did a search just for heart necklace on on Google and I did a search and of course the Etsy um, category comes up and if you clicked on that you would go to um, the category page for heart necklaces in Etsy. So that's awesome. So if you're SEOing for Etsy um, you would SEO for heart necklace. But the interesting thing is when I did best heart necklaces, so I added more keywords to my search, I got the same things. I got the Etsy one, blah, blah, blah. But then when I came down here a little bit, I got this that is Pinterest. Um, hang on. Where to go? Where to go? Hold on. We're coming down. Pinterest. Best Best silver heart necklaces. Okay, so we want to see what Pinterest board silver heart necklaces has this. So it's Woot and Hammy. Let's see, whose who's board is this? Let's real quick check this. It's Woot and Hammy. Okay, so this is a seller. Hopefully he won't bark too much. This is a seller who has listed their products but let's see if this is that's Woot and Hammy from Etsy oh let's see is it at is it Woot and Hammy store no this is another Etsy store so this is this is what I was looking for this is exciting so what this person is doing is they are featuring their own necklaces right and they're also listing other e-commerce store necklaces. So they aren't, here's Hatch & Co. This is a heart necklace. Now they should have, you know, HTTPS. Um, but that is to a different store than theirs. But what they're doing is because they have all these heart necklaces, Etsy, or excuse me, Google is recognizing that this is a powerful Pinterest board, okay? So, and it has eight, almost 19,000 followers to this. And if they just had their own heart necklaces, they wouldn't be getting this kind of attraction. So there's Tiffany and company, there's Jared, there's all of this. So if I was a, a selling this, I would maybe have, I wouldn't want to try to compete with them, but for silver heart necklaces, but I would want to have like a dainty heart necklace board. I would want to have a handmade necklace board uh, or handmade heart jewelry. 
And then you could have necklaces and bracelets and all kinds of things. So you want to think about different ways you can do this. You may make a board with romantic gifts for her, right? Because this would be an amazing Valentine's Day gift. This would be an amazing, um, or gifts for best girlfriends, right? And so you want to make your Pinterest boards things that people would like. And you can start with, I would start with Google and try to get some ideas on Google, especially for handmade, because the broadness of what you could be making handmade, I can't, of course, do everything that we do, but we could get an idea from Google of what is showing up as strong boards and then don't try to compete with those ones head to head. You would compete with something that matches your categories um, and do that. Now, let's do heart necklace in Pinterest and see. Okay, so diamond heart necklace, silver, there's that silver heart necklace, gold heart necklace, simple. Um, beep, 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 big heart necklaces. So if, if that's a large pendant, heart necklace pendants, um, there's pendant, okay? So you would want to have maybe a silver jewelry, heart necklace, silver heart pendants, um, your store, maybe gifts for, um, Valentine's Day, I would definitely have that one. Um, and then something else. So we want to have between three and five different boards for every one of our listings so that when we're ready to pin, we have multiple boards to pin on. And we'll talk about that more when we talk about um, how to pin your product. So that's that first one for necklaces. And that was... Beverly Symes Design, and I'll have a link to Beverly's store in the bottom. Now, the next one for handmade, I thought this was amazing, because this is a hand-painted roller skate bag. Personalized, unicorn, dreaming bohemian, um, and I thought, you know, this is really unique, right? So as a handmade seller, your items might be super unique, and you may have trouble figuring out what kinds of Pinterest boards you could make. So this is a roller skate bag. So let's go to Google and look up roller skate bag. Okay. And see if there's any Pinterest boards, right? Um, so we have eBay. These are all e-commerce. And we had to go pretty far down the last time for Pinterest. That's fine. Um... There's Etsy, so there's Etsy ranking, which is fine, but we're trying to find Pinterest because we want to rank for Pinterest. And I picked this one because it would be hard. I didn't want to try to get, oh, there's Pinterest. Ice or roller skate bags. Okay, and this is by Crafty Craft Sewing DIYs. Okay. Tutorial. Oh my gosh, this is just for a pin. Wow, that is very cool. This is just a pin. Somebody's pin got that. So what that tells me is that there is the opportunity to rank for roller skate bags or, um, and now we find out it could also be ice skate bags if they'll fit in. I think they would. Um, so you may have, have a um, unique bags. Uh, I would definitely have a roller skate bags and I would do roll more roller skate bags. Um, you can do a little product development when you see holes in the marketplace like this. Okay, now let's think about what this is for. This is um, for girls, right? Skate bag, hand painted, girls. So let's do girl girl bags, bags for girls, bags, girls, kids, bags, girls, kids, bags, girls. Okay, here's a fun one that you may get yourself all twisted about, but I'm okay with it. 
I would almost do a, because remember what came up, DIY roller skate bags, right? I would almost do a DIY bags and pin my stuff to it because there's a group of people on Pinterest who, um, so there's always three types of people. There's the type of people that will take your idea and make it themselves. And God bless them. I hope they get some really ide good ideas and they have a fun time. The second kind just collect things, right? And on Pinterest, that can help us because if they see it on your DIY and then they share it and share it and share it, oh my gosh, you're going to get some shares. But the very best thing is people like me who will save it to their DIY fun craft board. And then when it comes time for Christmas to come and you have to pull out the paints and know you can't do it that well, you're going to buy this one. Okay? So I would definitely do that. I would also make a Pinterest board for unicorns. Let me tell you, unicorns. Unicorns are very popular. Unicorn art. Let's try unicorns first and see what happens because unicorns are very cool. Unicorns DIY. What's in there? Mm, see, they're all light and bright and kind of... I don't know. I don't know if I would go to the trouble. Unless you really like unicorns too and then it's fine. Um, picture stuff. What's unicorn stuff? Unicorn stuff is us. Right, so I would definitely have a unicorn stuff board because this is the best unicorn gifts, unicorn diffuser, unicorn cup to buy. This is an Etsy product. This is a mental frost product. This is a Nordstrom product. So what Pinterest is saying is that if you search for unicorn stuff, they're going to show you all these kinds of unicorn products. So I would definitely have a unicorn stuff board and put e-commerce products on it, okay? So that's going to really help her. Um, let's see what, um, let's try this, Etsy unicorns. Because we haven't said yet that we're going to make an Etsy focus board. Um, and if you don't sell on Etsy, just... It's fine. Um, so these are all Etsy unicorns. I might almost make a best uniform unicorn gifts on Etsy, right? Especially if she does a lot of products with unicorns. Um, because unicorns are so popular, if I was her and I could paint unicorns like this, I would make lots of unicorn products. Um, but that should give you guys an idea, you handmade sellers, an idea of how to figure out what kinds of boards you want to make. Three to five boards. Um, one is going to be your shop board. Uh, and then the rest should be related to your product in some way. So hopefully that helps. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos about creativity and e-commerce and Pinterest, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.